Nothing reveals more about a fighter jet than the engines driving them. The Soviet MiG-25 Foxbat once terrified the West with its speed that was rumored to hit Mach 3. Decades later, the American F-22 Raptor arrived. It was not the fastest jet ever built, but one with engines so advanced they redefined modern air dominance. Today, we'll uncover the secrets of the science and design that builds their stealth. The MiG-25 stunned Western intelligence when it first appeared in the late 1960s. Early radar reports suggested a Soviet fighter capable of Mach 3.2 and flew higher and faster than anything NATO had. Panic spread. Was the USSR building a superplane that no American fighter could catch? At the heart of that fear was the MiG-25's engine, the Tumansky R-15B 300 turbojet. It wasn't subtle or efficient, but it was powerful. Each produced about 22,500 pounds of thrust with afterburner that drove the Fox Bat past Mach 2.8. But the engine was practically burning itself alive at such speeds. Pilots were warned never to push past Mach 2.8 for more than a few minutes. At Mach 3, the R-15 risked seizing up entirely with turbine blades warping under the searing heat. The MiG-25's appearance led directly to the creation of the F-15 Eagle and later the F-22 Raptor. By the time the Raptor entered service in 2005, engine philosophy had changed. Instead of pure top speed, the US was focusing on supercruise and stealth. Enter the Pratt & Whitney F-119PW100 turbofan. Each engine delivers about 35,000 pounds of thrust with afterburner, nearly 60% more than a Fox Bat engine and with far greater efficiency. The F-22 can cruise at supersonic speeds of around Mach 1.5 without afterburner. Supercruising meant the Raptor could outrun threats while saving fuel and staying stealthy. Unlike the Fox Bat, the Raptor's engines weren't just about speed, they were about endurance and maneuverability. On paper, the MiG-25 looks like the speed champion. With its R-15 turbojets, it could outpace almost anything in the 1970s. But raw speed isn't always combat power. At Mach 2.8, its engines drained fuel so fast that missions often lasted less than 45 minutes. The F-22, by contrast, doesn't match the Fox Bat's record top speed, but its engines are designed for sustainable supersonic performance. They can keep the jet cruising at Mach 1.5 for hours if needed. Add in stealth, which requires cooler engine exhaust, and the design shows it can control the fight fully. Before we go further, which do you think matters more in modern air combat, speed or stealth? Let us know in the comments. The MiG-25's Tumansky R-15 wasn't born as a fighter engine at all. It was originally designed for the Tupolev Tu-123 reconnaissance drone, where lifespan didn't matter. The drone was expected to be used once and discarded. When Soviet engineers adapted it for the Fox Bat, they essentially took a missile engine and forced it into the role of powering one of the world's fastest jets. This explains why the R-15 was large and powerful, but its steel turbine blades could barely withstand the heat generated at extreme speeds. At Mach 2.8, the exhaust temperature could exceed 1,500 degrees Celsius, and if pushed near Mach 3, the blades risked seizing or disintegrating. Pilots had strict time limits because of this. Soviet test pilots joked that the MiG-25 wasn't really a fighter at all. It was a flying engine with a cockpit. It was spectacular for interception, but the R-15 was never built for endurance or finesse. The F-119 was the first operational fighter engine designed from the start to sustain supercruise. This single feature let it sprint faster than opponents while saving fuel and keeping a lower heat signature. Its internals reveal why. The F-119 uses single crystal turbine blades, alloys engineered to withstand extreme heat without losing shape. Each blade is cooled internally by tiny air channels. The result is an engine that can operate at temperatures that would have destroyed a MiG-25 within minutes. Then there's stealth. The F-119's has flattened exhaust nozzles. Scattering radar waves and mixing cooler bypass air into the hot exhaust reduces its infrared signature. It's basically invisible thrust. Add in full authority digital engine control, which constantly monitors and adjusts every parameter, and you have an engine as smart as it is strong. The F-119 also left a legacy beyond the Raptor. It became the direct ancestor of the F-135, powering the F-35 Lightning II, exporting its DNA into the most widely produced fifth-generation fighter in the world. 
One of the Raptor's secret weapons is thrust vectoring. Each F-119 nozzle can deflect 20 degrees up or down, which redirects thrust to give the jet super maneuverability. This allows the F-22 to perform post-stall maneuvers like tight turns and high alpha moves that no conventional fighter can match. The MiG-25 with its R-15 engines had none of this. Its size and design made it heavy with limited maneuverability. In fact, Soviet pilots often describe the Fox Bat as more of a rocket with wings than a dogfighter. Against an F-22, speed alone wouldn't save it. The MiG-25 carried nearly 45,000 pounds of fuel, yet could empty its tanks in under an hour at top speed. This limited its real operational range to about 1,000 miles without refueling. It was effective as a point interceptor where it would scramble to chase intruders but not a long-range fighter. The F-22, with its more efficient F-119 turbofans, carries less fuel of around 18,000 pounds internally. But it can still cover similar ranges because it doesn't guzzle fuel at the same rate. Supercruise means it doesn't need afterburners to maintain supersonic speed, keeping its range practical for long patrols. In short, the MiG-25 burned fuel like a dragster, while the F-22 manages it like a hybrid sports car. The MiG-25's engines created heat on a terrifying scale. At Mach 3, the leading edges of its wings and even the cockpit canopy could reach 300 degrees Celsius. Pilots needed special cooling suits and in some cases the cockpit windows had to be turned slightly opaque after repeated high-speed flights. The Fox Bat was fast but it glowed like a torch in the sky. Any advanced missile seeker could spot it instantly. The F-22's F-119 engines flipped that script. Their flat nozzles reduce radar returns and actively mix cooler bypass air with the blazing exhaust stream. This lowers the jet's infrared footprint and makes it harder for heat-seeking missiles to lock on. Stealth is as much about shape as it is about temperature management. In combat terms, this meant the MiG-25 was a sprinter, easy to track while the F-22 could slip through enemy airspace unseen. So far we've shown you how engines shape these fighters, but which jet story should we break down next? The R-15 engines of the MiG-25 were notoriously short-lived. Soviet records show they sometimes needed overhaul after as little as 150 hours of flight time, especially if pushed to their limits. They were like matchsticks that were powerful when struck, but burned out fast. The F-119 engines, in contrast, were built for thousands of hours between overhauls. Digital engine controls monitor every parameter like adjusting airflow, fuel, and temperature in real time. This makes them not only more powerful, but also more reliable. Where the R-15 was expendable, the F-119 is enduring. The MiG-25 Foxbat's R-15 engines symbolize a Cold War built on shock and awe. They forced NATO to react and directly inspired the design of the F-15 Eagle, which was meant to counter the perceived Super MiG. Even though the Foxbat's true weaknesses became known later, its engines changed Western strategy. The R-15's legacy is that of a weapon designed to intimidate, even if it was unsustainable in the long run. The F-22's F-119 engines, on the other hand, showed the future. They proved that engine power was about persistence and stealth. The F-119's influence can be seen across the globe. In the F-35's F-135, China's WS-15, as well as Russia's AL-41F-1. Both of these sought to match the F-119's combination of thrust and efficiency. In the end, the Fox Bat's R-15 proved what desperation and ambition could achieve in the 1960s. On the other hand, the Raptor's F-119 proved that refinement and technology could achieve the unthinkable. The MiG-25 and F-22 engines couldn't be more different. One was gunning for speed while the other was all about precision. But together they show us how fighter engine design evolved from brute force to balanced mastery. Which of these engines has fascinated you more? Let us know in the comments below. Some of these aircrafts look like they were made in another galaxy. With their sleek shapes and alien designs, you'd swear they came from a sci-fi movie and not from Earth. But believe it or not, they're real. They've flown, and some are already in service. The B-21 Raider is America's newest stealth bomber, built to replace the legendary B-2 Spirit. Its role is to slip past the world's toughest air defenses, strike anywhere on the planet, and return unseen. What makes the B-21 unique is how far stealth has advanced since the 1990s. Every curve and material is designed to absorb or deflect radar. 
Its engines are buried deep within the body, hiding heat from infrared sensors. And unlike the B-2, the Raider is built with digital open systems architecture, meaning it can be upgraded with new weapons, drones, or AI without a redesign. Preferred because of its versatility, it's capable of both nuclear and conventional strikes, making it the backbone of America's future bomber fleet. Its specs are still classified, but it's expected to have intercontinental range, carry precision-guided munitions, and operate autonomously if required. The B-21 is famous as the first bomber designed for the age of cyber warfare and space-age stealth. The Chengdu J-20 is China's first operational stealth fighter and a symbol of its military rise. It's built to control airspace, hunt rival fighters, and it can even threaten high-value targets like tankers and EWS aircraft. Capable of cruising at supersonic speeds, carrying advanced long-range missiles, and blending stealth with agility, the J-20 gives China reach across the Pacific. Its most famous feature is its length. At over 67 feet, it's larger than most Western fighters, allowing more fuel and weapons. This makes it ideal for long patrols. Preferred by China's Air Force for its intimidation factor, the J-20 is deployed along contested regions like the South China Sea. It's famous for being the first non-American stealth fighter to enter large-scale service, showing the world that stealth dominance is no longer U.S.-only territory. The NASA X-59 Quest is not a fighter or bomber. It's a revolution in passenger flight. Its role is to prove that supersonic travel over land can return by eliminating the sonic boom. Capable of flying at Mach 1.4, the X-59 uses its extra-long nose and sculpted body to break up shockwaves. Instead of the deafening boom that once grounded the Concorde, the X-59 produces only a gentle thump that is quiet enough to pass over cities without disruption. It's preferred because, if successful, airlines could bring back supersonic routes without restrictions, cutting flight times in half. Its most famous spec is its 30-foot nose cone, which eliminates the cockpit windshield. Instead, pilots fly using advanced external cameras. The X-59 is famous because it could unlock the dream of supersonic travel for millions of passengers, not just the military elite. The SR-72, nicknamed the Son of Blackbird, is the rumored successor to the legendary SR-71. Built by Lockheed Martin, its mission would be strategic reconnaissance and strike at hypersonic speeds. Projected to fly beyond Mach 6, the SR-72 would be capable of crossing the Atlantic in under two hours. It has a turbine-based combined cycle engine that could operate like a jet at low speeds and switch to scramjet propulsion at hypersonic speeds. No missile defense system today could intercept something moving this fast. It would redefine first strike capability and surveillance. Its most famous spec is its speed. If achieved, it would be the fastest aircraft in history. The SR-72 is famous for its secrecy. Lockheed has confirmed test programs exist, but no prototype has been revealed publicly. It may already be flying in classified programs. The X-47B looks like a small stealth bomber, but it was built for launching from aircraft carriers without a human pilot. First flown in 2011, this drone proved it could take off, land, and also refuel autonomously on a moving carrier deck which is one of the most complex tasks in aviation. Its flying wing design makes it stealthy, while its ability to operate without risking a pilot makes it ideal for dangerous missions. The X-47B carried weapons bays, advanced sensors, and precision strike capabilities, all while being fully unmanned. Though it remains a demonstrator, the lessons from the X-47B are feeding directly into the Navy's future carrier drones. It proved that autonomous stealth combat aircraft are already taking off from ships at sea. The Airbus Maverick is an experimental passenger aircraft with a radical design, a blended wing body where fuselage and wings merge into one. Its role is to test the future of commercial aviation efficiency. Capable of carrying passengers in a wide, open cabin, the Maverick's triangular shape reduces drag and increases fuel efficiency by up to 20%. Its most famous spec is its futuristic cabin, which is wide enough for creative seating layouts and even lounges. Airlines face rising pressure to cut emissions, and Maverick offers a way to do it without sacrificing range. Its most famous moment was its 2020 flight of a scaled demonstrator, proving the design is viable. The Maverick is famous not for military power, but for showing how tomorrow's airliners could look nothing like today's. The Sukhoi Su-57, NATO codename Felon, is Russia's first attempt at a true fifth-generation stealth fighter. 
Its role is to give Russia an answer to the US F-22 and F-35, blending stealth with raw supermaneuverability. Capable of supersonic cruise speeds, the Su-57 is powered by thrust vectoring engines that allow it to pull extreme maneuvers like tight turns and sudden climbs that few jets can match. Its internal weapons bays carry a mix of long-range missiles and precision bombs, while its advanced radar and infrared sensors give it situational awareness across the battlefield. Russia built it to dominate in close-range dogfights and to carry heavy payloads without losing agility. While its stealth isn't as refined as American jets, its ability to combine stealth with aerobatics makes it unique. The Su-57 is most famous for being deployed in limited numbers but meant to show that Moscow can still compete in the global stealth race. The Spike S-512 is a futuristic supersonic business jet designed to carry executives and VIPs across oceans in record time. Its role is to revive supersonic passenger travel, but in a private, quiet, and efficient form. Capable of Mach 1.6, the S-512 can cut flight times between New York and London down to just over three hours. Its most futuristic feature is the cabin that has no windows. Instead, long digital screens project live panoramic views from cameras outside or even display movies and presentations. This makes the fuselage lighter and more aerodynamic. It's designed to soften the sonic boom, allowing supersonic flight over land routes that were off-limits to Concord. For passengers, it offers luxury interiors and faster connections between continents. The S-512 is a glimpse of how the wealthy may cross the skies at twice the speed of sound. The next and final jet proves just how far technology can push the very limits of speed. NASA's X-43 Waverider is famous for being the fastest aircraft ever built. Its role was to prove scramjet propulsion could sustain hypersonic flight, and it succeeded. In 2004, the X-43 reached Mach 9.6, nearly 7,000 miles per hour. That's fast enough to cross the United States in under 30 minutes. Its scramjet engine works by compressing air at hypersonic speeds, eliminating the need for heavy turbines. The faster it goes, the more efficiently it flies. The X-43 proved hypersonic flight isn't science fiction. The data it gathered now fuels research into future hypersonic aircraft and weapons. Its famous spec of Mach 9.6 is still the world record for an air-breathing aircraft. The X-43 is remembered as the jet that didn't fight battles but opened a new frontier. It showed the world that hypersonic travel is real, and it's the next great leap in aviation. These aircrafts prove the future of aviation is already airborne. The question is, which of these will define the next era of flight? Tell us in the comments. If you enjoyed this breakdown, give it a like and hit subscribe. Until next time, keep watching the horizon.